Right. The Vinyl Frontier, it's like the coolest record store in town. I'm on my way there now. Oh, no, yeah, that's right. What? Nothing. Forget it. <laughs> Have a nice day. Where's he going? I don't know. He didn't say. Too easy. The Seven Comforts by Favorito. A little band from Sweden. Good start, fresh meat. But that was just the first round. <laughs> Flaming Lips Alternative. Jimmy Cliff, Reggae. Elvis Costello, Pop. John Coltrane, Jazz. Garth Brooks, New Country. In my opinion, one of the signs of the apocalypse. Marvin Gaye, musical god, also worshiping. Time for the speed round. Pixies, Grandmaster Flash, Wham, Radiohead, Ice Cube, Ice Tea, Vanilla, Ice, AWOL 1, you two. The three tenors. Four tops, Jurassic 5. Impressive. The musical force within you is very strong. Does that mean I have the job? Not so fast, hot shot. Final bonus round. Under which category would you file the box set? Our poor by the residents. In the rock, uh, no. The residents defy categorization. You have to ask for their stuff at the counter. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Knight of the Vinyl Frontier. Let me start right now. Check that on. Staff uniform, you gotta wear it if you want to work here. Okay. Sharp. Now, uh, go help that girl over there. Cute hat. Yeah, thanks. My boss is making me wear it. Can I help you with something? No. But I can definitely help you. Excuse me? Name's Kim. I work here too. I'll be showing you the ropes. That's a goof. Benny just wanted to see if you were stupid enough to put it on. Looking good, Germain. Yeah, thanks, Benny. Psychotic little man. Thanks for dinner, Mrs. Roberts. It was great. So you don't want any dessert? Oh, I'd love to, but I think my mom's going to be here in a minute. Oh, uh, I'll get it. Mom, they're touching again. Shut up. I can leave them alone. Who I found prowling outside. Come on in. Hi, Colleen. Ash, are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. We were just about to have coffee and dessert. Why don't you stay? Well, if it's no trouble. Having fun yet, rookie? That's cool. So how long have you been working here? About a year and a half. Benny's a little crazy, but paycheck's good, and you get a 20% employee discount. Oh, I plan on spending my first paycheck right here. I spend every paycheck here. Every paycheck? Mm-hmm. 900 CDs and counting, not to mention a couple hundred LPs. Oh, that makes my collection seem pretty weak. What kind of music do you like? Well, you know, a little r and some trip-hop, tech-hop, soul, jazz, electronica, dub, reggae, classical alternative. The mood strikes me. I even dig a little poke in music. How about you? Ditto. Minus the poker. That's too bad, Jermaine. I got a thing for accordion players. Anybody for more good coffee? No thanks, honey. <laughs> That's one of my favorites of Dylan. He's a month old. Don't show her that one. He's wearing a dress. You have a picture of me in a dress? It's a christening gown. A christening gown, dress, what's the difference? Ten years of therapy. <laughs> Kill me now. <laughs> Is 
just getting busy in here. Usually does this time of night. Attention passengers, attention all passengers. That's my cue. If I could please direct your attention to the rear of the plane where the lovely Kim will begin our in-flight entertainment. It's not so bad. Looks like they might even like each other. No, the family's actually behaving themselves. No one's insulted anybody yet. You hardly touched your cake. Oh, it, it was delicious. I'm just trying to avoid wheat flour and sugar, junk food in general. What was that you said about no one being insulted yet? <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah. I'm sure your mom doesn't like cake. Old, We're still doing it. I mean, good to have someone with morals back in the White House. Oh, yeah. Don't know about that. Bush is hardly a Boy Scout. Unless they start talking politics. Yo, Kimmy. I'm gonna go uh, head to the Weezer concert. Walk up for me, will you? You got it, Benny. Jermaine? Yeah. You're fired. Good night. Good night. You know he's kidding? Yeah. Good. The last time Benny pulled out, the guy never came back. <laughs> oh, I'll be back. I want to bring my accordion. <laughs> I don't think we can take marriage as seriously as they should. I mean, I hate to think what kind of message that sends to our kids. It's why our society is so screwed up. Okay, Mom, you don't have to respond to that. But of course you will. So you're saying anyone who's gotten a divorce is a bad parent? No, not a bad parent. Just more interested in themselves than in their children. I don't think people try hard enough to make a go of it. I can't believe she said that. Here it comes. <clears throat> Jeez, Mike. Sorry. Born in a barn? Never in a million years did I think I'd be thankful for my brother's gas. We'll have to do this again sometime. Uh, next time at my place. Good night. See you soon. Drive safe. Spray new to your pets. What? Hey, thanks for being so insensitive to Ashley's mom. What are you talking about? All that stuff you said about divorced people. She brought it up, Dylan. I was just expressing my opinion. God knows she has enough of them. <laughs> Ash's mom was divorced, you know. What? Before her dad died, her parents got divorced. Well, why didn't she say something? I don't know. Maybe it was the fear of being stoned to death as a heretic? I wouldn't have said anything if I'd known. Do you think she's upset? Oh, come on, honey. I'm sure she's fine. I mean, I just can't believe that woman. Who does she think she is calling me a bad parent? She wasn't calling you a bad parent, Mom. Anyways, I'm sure she didn't mean anything by it. Didn't mean anything? Well, then why did she say it? It's something she believes. And is that what Dylan believes, too? Because if it is, you're in trouble. What? Why? You can't have a relationship with someone who's so narrow-minded. Oh, relax, Mom. I think you're the one being a little narrow-minded. Really? Well, I'm not even sure that I want you over at their place anymore. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that because I know you're upset right now. Could you just tell me what it is that you see in them? I mean, she's this overbearing June Cleaver. He's a loudmouth caveman, and that might...